Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks for I2 Analyst Notebook. My name is Tim, I'm with Total Intelligence Group, and today we're going to be talking about how you add attributes to a manually created entity. So I've already created my entity, I've added a picture, I'm using Mr. Al Capone because there's plenty of information out there about him. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can do it and, and some kind of minor tweaks you may need to make along the way. The first way you can do it is you can come over here to your palette, and if your palette's not up, uh, you come up here to the Home tab and you click Insert Palette. You have Entities at top, Links, and finally Attributes. And within Attributes, again, you have all your entity types in there. And they each have their own different, already pre-populated attributes in there. We'll do a different video later that will show you how you can add your own attributes um, in there so that if it's something that you commonly use, it'll be in there within I2. So in this case, I'm going to use People. And the first thing I want to add is, is Date of Birth. So since I don't have them highlighted, if I click on date of birth, you'll see that my cursor now changed to the symbol that's been selected for date of birth. And I drag that over, I do a left click, and it now brings up a screen where I can put in the date. So date of birth is already in there, but if you have to enter it, 0117-1899. I click OK, and now it appears underneath uh, Mr. Capone's name. Now that I've highlighted, okay, this is another way you can do it. Now I want to add date of death. So if I come over here to my palette to the right and I click date of death, because I already have them highlighted, it automatically populates or creates the box for me where I can put in my date. So here we know he died on 125, 1947. So he was 48 years old when he died. I click OK. And now it's added date of death to my entity as well. So that's using the palette and how the two different ways you can do it through the palette. The third way I'm gonna show you is through the actual entity uh, edit box. So if I double click on Al Capone, it pops up my edit icon box. I go under items properties to attributes and as you can see the two attributes I've already created are there. So I wanna add a third one. So we know that Mr. Capone went by many names. So if I go to people and I'm gonna to go to aliases. Okay, so more popular, we know him, knew him as Scarface. So I'm gonna type in Scarface and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna click okay. Now it's add alias in there. Now he also had some other aliases as well. So if I try to go back in to my edit icon box to attributes and I go to add people, aliases does, does not appear. All right, so the way to add multiple aliases to this would be then go back, close out, okay, and go back to the palette to where it says aliases. Since he's highlighted, all I have to do is click it on, and now I can put in there any other aliases. So as you can see, he's also known as public enemy number one. Okay, and since I already have it in there, it's kind of pre-populating it for me. I click OK, and it adds it on a different line underneath aliases as public enemy number one. Now you can do this for any attributes you have. Again, things like addresses, um, those are going to be their own separate entities, probably under a location. Um, but you can put any other information that you have in there, distinguishing marks, Okay, if you had any scars. Uh, if you had an email address, of course we know email address didn't exist back then, but you could put email address in as, as well, ethnic origin his nationality we could put in there so if we scroll down to nationality and I click on nationality as you can see there's already been some pre-populated uh, nationalities in here American British Dutch Finnish French German Irish Italian Norwegian Spanish Swedish so any type I anytime I type a new nationality in here um, it's gonna populate in that list so it's a, it's a quick way to, to you can go in and select uh, the nationality if it's already been in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click American and click OK and now it adds that to my entity as well. This was adding attributes to a manually created entity. Again, this is Tim with Total Intelligence Group with tips and tricks for Analyst Notebook I2.